All right, so I want to find zeros of this function. And um, one thing that I know is my zeros are going to be um, factors of my last term divided by factors of the coefficient of my first term. So since that's a 1, my possibilities are negative plus or minus factors of 15. 1, 3, 5, 15. So uh, I'm just going to start hunting, see what happens. So I'll try 1. Of 1x fourth, negative 2x cubed, negative 24x squared, 58x's, and 15 ones. So bring it down, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply. Uh, I don't know, negative, uh, no, 33. Add, that's not going to work out. So 1 doesn't work. Um, positive 1 doesn't work at least. I'll try three. Bring it down, multiply, um, add, multiply, add, multiply. Huh. Add, multiply. Nice. All right, three works. So, um, since 3 works, I know that that's one of the zeros. It was a quadratic, so now it's cubic. Essentially, I factored this, right, into this. x minus 3 times 1x cubed plus 1x squared minus 21x's. And I hope this fits minus 5. And so now what I'm going to do is going to keep looking for zeros in this. Um, because the zeros that are in this would, it will be in that as well, because they multiply out to get it. 15 is no longer a possibility. So let's try five, just see what happens. And notice at this point, I'm not going back to my, to my original. Um, I'm just gonna see what happens. So bring it down, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, that's not gonna work. So five didn't work. Uh, I'll try negative five. Uh, bring it down, multiply, add, Multiply, oh, that looks good. Add, multiply, that worked. Good, so I basically factored out an x plus five. So, and what's left is this quadratic, um, x squared minus four x minus one. I'm not gonna be able to factor that. Factor is a negative one, then add to four, it's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna run this through quadratic formula. So I have this uh, a is 1, b is negative 4, c is negative 1. So the quadratic formula is negative b, right, uh, plus or minus the square root of b squared. Notice I put that in parentheses, so I'm squaring the negative as well. Minus 4 times a times c all over 2 times a. And uh, so now I just have some arithmetic to, to, to do. Negative negative four is four plus or minus square root. That's a 16 plus four over two, which is four plus or minus square root of 20 over two. Ah, that's what I was afraid of, sorry. Not 20 is four times five. So square root of four is two, so this is four plus or minus two square root of four times the square root of five. See, I square rooted the four, give me the two. I can't square root the five and get a, a nice rational number, so I'll just leave the square root of five over two. And last step, I'm almost done. All of these are divisible by two, so I'm gonna divide these by two. So I will get, um, and I may have to scoot this down a little bit more again. So I'll get this divided by two is two, plus or minus two divided by two is one, root five. So notice that's two roots, two plus root five, two minus root five. And then I also have the two that I already found, three and negative five, there's my zeros.